Who doesn't love sharks? I love them. And I think this is probably my favorite fossil shark. This is Cretoxyrhina. And what you may know about sharks is their skeletons are cartilaginous, so we usually only find their teeth. But every once in a while, we get lucky with chemistry. And these beautiful giant animals sink to the bottom of the sea. And thanks to the magic of chemistry, we get a kind of ossification. They, they solidify on the cartilage. And you have these fantastic skulls. You get the whole outline of this with cool teeth, poker chips for vertebrae. Just an incredible specimen. And these exceeded the size of today's great white sharks. Some people would tell you up to 10 feet longer, but certainly larger than the largest great whites today. Now, these lived in the Western Interior Seaway on either side of this big ocean that split the United States. So this creature swam in Kansas and thereabouts, right up and down the middle of the United States, alongside plesiosaurs and mosasaurs. It was a very dangerous time, probably the most dangerous seas that ever existed. And Cretoxy Ryan at the Rocky Mountain Dinosaur Resource Center just puts a smile on my face.